how you started playing basketball. Well, for, for me, when I started playing basketball, it was just kind of for fun. When I was a kid, uh, I just liked to dribble the basketball mostly, actually. Uh, and I would go to school and that would be my game to play at recess. And then uh, I had a cousin who joined the team and asked if I wanted to. I was like, sure, I'll try it. And then when I got to play organized basketball, uh, that's when I like really fell in love with the game and training and being around teammates. So it was really when I was about uh, like eight or nine years old, that's when I really fell in love with it. How's your college in Cal Poly Pomona? At Cal Poly, I played there for four years. Um, uh, we did very well, actually. Uh, my first two years making it to the national championship and then winning the national championship. So I had a really good college experience. Um, I got to play, I, I got to watch a lot my first year in college and then my sophomore year, my third and fourth year, I was a starter and, and got a lot of experience and I think it really helped me with my professional career going forward. How's to playing national team in 2013 and 2015? Yeah, that, that's probably one of the most memorable uh, parts of my career is representing the flag, uh, especially um, in 2013 when uh, I was just coming out and um, was trying to make a name for myself in like the Philippine basketball. And I was fortunate enough to be eligible to play on the national team. So it was nice to come out and win right away and have like success. Uh, representing the flag, so I really appreciated that. And then in 2015, playing again, um, it was it was a growing experience, but it was fun because uh, we were so close to making it to the Olympics. But just uh, when when we played China in that championship game, it was we had a lot to overcome. But just thinking second, though, now I can I'm at a point in my career where I look back, I can be proud of that. But it was hard to get over. From for a while. <laughs> been curious, sir, who recruited you to play national team? Actually, the person that recruited me was uh, Coach Chat and Coach Josh Reyes. And they got, I got in contact with them through my my agent. His name is Charlie D. Uh, when he found out, when he realized I was eligible to play for Gilas, I sent my some film to them. And uh, they invited me to come out uh, to to try out to play in a tournament to see, and uh, fortunately I did. I played well, and we actually won. That was the Jones Cup tournament. Uh, so it kind of a little got my foot in the door with the national team, and I was able to play for uh, some some good years there with them. What do you learn from Coach Tab in 2015 national team? Competing with Coach Tab in 2015, um, I got to see the game at a different at, at a different way. Um, playing with the national team because it was a it's kind of like a tournament style game. So you know the uh, the him having us so prepared was really uh, was really good. He had us running all the teams. Whether we were going to play them or not, we were running all their plays. We knew all their plays, and his attention to detail in um, scout scouting was, is really something I learned, and uh, I appreciate it actually. And it, it really helped you feel confident going into the game because uh, most of the time, what was on the scout is what really happened in the game. So uh, he had us very prepared. It was a lot of hard work, and uh, not, it's not for everybody, but it was. It was very, very good. How's your first student in talk and text? My rookie year, my first three, excuse me, my first three years in the PBA was with talk and text. And I really enjoyed those times um, uh, because I was with the national team. I was familiar with a lot of the players on the team at the time. I actually played with them um, with the national team, so that was nice. And um, I had uh, a lot of good uh, vets on the team at the time when I was there as a rookie. I was the youngest guy there. There was only uh, three players on the team that were under 30. <laughs> it was me, Kevin Alas, and Jason Castro at the time. So, and we had a team full of vets. So 
I learned a lot uh, about the, you know, basketball and in life in general too, being on the team for those years and having uh, my roles change all throughout every year I was there. So that also prepared me for, uh, you know, a longer career in the PBA. How's teammate Ivan Johnson? Teammates with Ivan Johnson, man. He, uh, that's probably one of my favorite teammates I ever played with. Definitely at uh, any basketball level. Um, he was very competitive, uh, just like me. And uh, especially during the games, he like never backed down. And he was always a good eye. Um, <laughs> looking, looking for the smoke in better sense. <laughs> but he uh, definitely uh, played with the chip on his shoulder. And, uh, it was nice being able to uh, win the Commissioner's Cup with him that year, uh, especially because, uh, you know, everything that happened in that series, that was a hard-fought series, and for us to come out winners after all that, it made it a lot sweeter. How's your stint with San Miguel Bellman? Uh, yeah, I had, I had a, some, a great stint with San Miguel uh, Beer. Um, about uh, three, about yeah, about three years, four years, I would say. Yeah, three years, yeah, three, four years. Uh, you counting the pandemic year, <laughs> but uh, I won a lot of, I won uh, four championships there uh, with San Miguel, and um, I enjoyed playing there. It was a different style of basketball than my first uh, years as a, as a pro. So uh, it was nice to like find my niche uh, within the group of talent that was there. Uh, I think at one point, like I would say, we might have had the deepest team in PBA history, <laughs> close to it. I wouldn't say, I'm not going to sit here and say we have the deepest team ever, but we definitely uh, had a very deep, deep lineup and uh, and we won because of it. So it was it was fun um, and I enjoyed like uh, the time there and made lots of friends who are my friends off the court too. Can you share your sixth champion in the PBA? Uh, being a six-time champion, it, it, I'm just very grateful for, uh, you know, being able to compete for championships because it's very hard to come by. And, uh, you know, some guys have beautiful, like, great careers, but, um, you know, don't have any championships. So uh, I don't take them for granted at all, and I appreciate every single one of them. Um, and, you know, it's... It's really uh, what I've tried to do, like why I play basketball, and I think that's why um, I find myself on the winning side of a lot of these uh, tournaments because uh, I just that's just what I attract is winning, and uh, I don't care for accolades. Uh, I play the game to like win championships, and that's what I'm going to continue to do as long as I can do, even if I'm playing in a men's league when I'm 50. I'm just gonna try to win that championship too. <laughs> what is your most memorable block in the PBA? Most memorable block in the PBA? Um, I would say, well, one okay, one of the most memorable ones. Uh, we were playing. I was on San Miguel. Uh, we were playing against Phoenix, and I don't know who it was. Like, was on a fast break trying to side, like try to do a side step, and I came from behind and like blocked it out of bounds. And then I did, I paid tribute to one, one of my teammates, Charles Rhodes. I did the get it out. <laughs> yeah, so uh, that was for him because he won us a chip, uh, I think, a conference before that, a few conferences before that. So, uh, yeah, that's probably one of my most memorable ones. That was, that was fun, and that was a good series that we were, able to, we were able to win. To all your PBA teammates, who has you learned the most? Uh, out of all my PBA teammates, who did I learn from the most? Um... Uh, that is a tough question, uh, actually, because I can't say I learned something more, like more than anybody. I would say like I'm just fortunate that I've had a lot of great teammates, and I'm the type of player that tries to learn from everybody, <laughs> whether you're a veteran or a rookie. Even to this day, I try to learn from all my teammates. So uh, it's just I've, it's just been a collective uh, group and. Uh, I would say, like, my rookie year, though, I had a lot of good vets that helped me, uh, like, transition uh, into the PBA. So uh, all those guys, my rookie year, I appreciate those guys because uh, it, was, it was a nice transition for me uh, to, like, come in and compete and be able to, like, play right away. 
Would you always giving advice to your younger brother Brandon in the basketball? Uh, do I give advice to my younger brother Brandon in basketball? Um, yeah, I do. <laughs> and I give him advice in just in, in general because I'm just his older brother and I care for him and I love him. So, but uh, when it comes to basketball, like um, he know he knows a lot uh, and and we both played high level basketball um, in the states. So. Uh, we kind of we see the games pretty similar, so uh, we we just enjoy actually just being able to that we're in the same league playing playing in the same league together uh, or versus each other. So uh, yeah, the, most most of the advice I give is just like tendencies with guys in the league and stuff like that, and what teams like to run. Uh, you know, when he's playing against them after we already did. This is true, sir. In 2021, you almost retired in professional basketball. Uh, yeah, in 2020, during the pandemic, uh, I, I definitely considered it um, because uh, just with how everything uh, with the pandemic was going, you know, not um, it kind of put uh, life in perspective for me. And um, I knew um, that I couldn't just uh, sit back and not do anything. It was very hard, so... Uh, I could, yeah, I did consider walking away from the game, um, but uh, it, the game I, I, I felt after uh, I wanted to like continue this journey and continue playing. But um, you know, when something like the pandemic happens, it just like uh, puts the life in perspective and what's really important. And I, even though I am grateful to be a professional basketball player. Um, but, you know, th there's more to life than uh, playing it, playing this game. So, uh, but I, I am grateful that I did decide to come back and um, me and my family are very, very blessed. Thank you for watching.